What's up guys, Mini Partner here, and I've got another unboxing video for you. So this time doing something a little bit different from the uh, gaming side of things, and I've looked at the Z-Box and we're looking at, uh, I've got another crate ready to go as well, which I think is called Geek Gear or something. But this time we're actually looking at a box which I like quite a lot, I've received a few of them, and it's the Vegan Kind box. And it's basically a lifestyle subscription box. So this is what the box uh, looks like, covering up the address. So it's the uh, Vegan Kind Lifestyle box. And inside this, you generally get um, a lot of uh, food products, things like that, everything suitable for vegans. If you're really into a vegan lifestyle, then it, will ha it can have things like uh, bamboo toothbrushes and all that cool stuff but for me it's more about because i'm i'm vegetarian rather than vegan but most of the vegan foods taste better than having to find vegetarian alternatives so i i'm really enjoy eating the vegan foods so which might sound strange to some people but it's a lifestyle choice and it's up to everyone so this crate is actually in my opinion really cheap they they come in at 13 pounds a month if you wanted to get a monthly subscription and that includes your postage if you're in the uk i'm pretty sure it's about five or six pound more expensive if you are not inside the uk but i'm not entirely sure also where they ship to but i'll include that at the end of the video so hopefully that helps there and uh for this one it's not going to be so much as i'll give you an end tally of how much they're worth because i'm not going to go online to try and shop for that because there's going to be such a range in prices for each of these products but generally these i, I will tell you if i think it's uh, worth it or not because i mean 13 pound is normally you can't go wrong so yeah we're gonna get into this crate kind of okay we got it so just like with my other crates i'm gonna put it to the side reach in pull them out okay so first thing you always get is all of this good stuff which will tell you all the ingredients things like that what you're going to get and uh also another quite cool card we'll mention that at the end so more paper and first up we have veg crisps so they are crispy green bean and sugar snap peas. So yeah, it's quite a nice alternative for if I was hungry and wanted crisps, which is really useful right now because I can't really go out. So uh, one of your five a day seems healthy enough. I don't know if I'm going to even like green beans, but green beans is this on there, not an M. But yeah, uh, but no, I'm, I'm quite excited to try those. And that pack is, I mean, it looks like it's really cool. It's actually quite full of, I think it's like inflated. But there is, at least, there is a good half a pack of them in there. But they feel like they uh, might be slightly crunched up. Or if they are like beans. I don't know if I'm going to sound stupid here. Because, or are they like crisps? Not entirely sure, but no, generally I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I think that's something I will eat and enjoy eating, as long as I don't get peanut butter, because I could be allergic. It's a long story. Okay, yes. Now, these are very good for anyone who's even thinking of just lessening the amount of uh, animal products they do intake. These are amazing. So they are actually made from chickpeas. And generally, this actually isn't my favourite flavour, but this is re still really nice. Um, the best one, I'm pretty sure they're called Spicy. I, I don't know if they're called Spicy something, but they're generally really good. But these uh, hippies are really, really tasty. It's a really nice treat. And they tell you they're vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, no MSG. So lots of healthy goodness in this, and they still taste amazing, considering they are made from chickpeas. But yes, so so far I've got two kind of crispy items, which is rather nice. Oh, there's something cold in there. 
which is a bit odd. And I like. So we've got some refreshers. Now, this is one of the best things about when you go into like a, a vegan crate subscription is you find things you didn't know were vegan. But they will go through and they will test everything. You can read through the ingredients just to be sure. You could even look them up. But at vegan kind, they really go through thoroughly to make sure it is all vegan. So I didn't actually know I could eat refreshers. Um, I think I could eat normal refreshers, but I didn't know like with the small ones, like the chews and stuff. But no, that's going to be nice. That is very, very nice. And again, because it's a, uh, you know, the brand refreshers, it's quite. Like if I do that, that's that is a pretty full bag. That's if I space them out a bit more, so you can see that that fills the bag. So that's that's quite a nice full bag. Got five flavors, and yep, it's also free from artificial colors. If that was important to you, it's all real flavors. And ah. Uh, so, I know there's a lot of fans of Biscoff out there who will absolutely love it. And, uh, I'm not a massive fan of Biscoff, but, um, good thing is my fiancé is also a vegan and she loves it. So, yes. But no, that's, that's quite nice to get a nice dipping pot and you can kind of feel, it's still actually quite cold, so... It's quite nice, refrigerated almost, which is strange because it's a cardboard box. But yeah, get yourself some Biscoff and go. Not bad, not bad. At the moment, it seems like you're quite on task with how much everything should be worth. You know, thirteen pounds worth. Yeah, this is a big thing. What is this? Vegan bakery coconut clouds. It even says vegan on the front for this one. Um, I think it's a bit broken, or they are a bit broken, but I assume they're probably made by uh, made with something that's quite crumbly. Um, okay, I can't read. Oh no, there you go. I found the English. I think first was written in Dutch, which makes me think they're made in Dutch. They're made in Dutch. That's my place. Only problem with that is I don't like coconut. Oh, I'm, I'm like a picky vegetarian, so I'm like the worst kind of person in the world, really. Um, but again, that's that's quite a big... I mean, I could probably eat these if I was using them for something like... If I was going to dunk them. You dunk them in your cup of tea because we're British. And that's apparently what British people do. So I'd, I'd happily dunk them in, in tea or something, but I'm not entirely sure how strong the coconut flavour will be. Um, but no, it's that, again, that I've never seen it before, so it seems like it's probably worth quite quite significant. You're looking at probably about three, four pounds worth, because that's probably... And there are a lot of people that would love it. It's, it's heavy, you know. How many grams does it say? It's also resealable. Probably quite an important factor there because no one wants their biscuits to go soggy um i cannot find oh there you go 200 grams so that is it's quite a heavy box of biscuits but yeah that's not bad that's probably the thing i'm least likely well no the biscotti is probably least likely to be eaten so around okay oh oh a problem. I read this and thought, oh, caramel peanut. There's a good chance it will kill me. Um, I say this because I can eat peanuts, but I can't eat peanuts. I ate a curry and my mouth began to inflate. A few weeks later, I just tempted for the same curry. Didn't do anything. I don't know. But, um, Prodigy, eat no evil chocolate reborn. I wonder if that's uh, dark chocolate or not. It's got coconut sugar. It's got lacuma. I don't know what that is, but it sounds nice. Chicory root fiber. 
extraordinary chocolate covered caramel and peanuts. I mean, it feels really cold as well. So, but no, that's, I mean, that is, that is quite nice. Again, I would give it to my fiance rather than keep it for myself. I'll give her a few items. It's fine. But yeah, no, that's, that's not too bad. Again, I haven't seen it before. I mean, the only time I think of Prodigy is if I was a fire starter, but twisted fire starter. Not bad. <clears throat> okay. I didn't expect that. Um, tofu. So, uh, there's a lot of stigma that tofu is not nice, then you're just not making it correctly. So, we like to use, especially because this says it's silken and smooth. So, depending, because that's not going to be firm, I don't think. So, you wouldn't be able to use it for, we like to use our tofu mainly for like making scrambled eggs with it. But, this one's not a, uh, a firm one, so... See what it says. Uh, you use it as vegetable protein. Protein. Uh, you can use it to replace eggs, dairy, or meat in your favorite recipes. So this one does say you can make it in scrambled eggs. So maybe this will work. I would be tempted to try, but no, I can never say no to getting more tofu, especially when you get different. Like this says, it's organic tofu, so I don't really know what inorganic tofu is, but I'd happily. Made in Japan using fresh water from Mount Fuji. Guess that's organic. But no, uh, definitely happy with that. Just gotta make sure you drain it. Just drain it. But no, uh, for anyone that hasn't ever eaten tofu, I'd advise you to get yourself some and then just try a few different ways of... Like just cook it and then i don't know try and fry it with something and see how you can change the flavor because you can do it quite easily like i said we love using it for scrambled egg with some black salt and it works wonders because again i might be a vegetarian but i don't really like eating eggs I feel sorry for the chickens but no uh very happy with that one so oh okay what well that's probably the smallest thing i've seen in a crate like tiny but i mean i don't think it was meant to be very big cocoa butter cocoa mass coconut palm sugar creamed coconuts it's just coconut peruvian milk chocolate now i feel exotic i gotta say i'll happily be enjoying this peruvian chocolate that sounds lovely so i think there's one item left Unless there's another tiny thing in there. Well, I suppose you remember it is a lifestyle crate. So as much as they have all been edible. So again, I said you do get some strange things. This being one of them. I did feel something cold in here and it's this. It feels really cold. So it says salt of the earth. Uh, melon cucumber effective natural deodorant. Kind of looks like a... A liquid spray. Um, see what it says on there. Uh, Long-lasting protection. Made in the UK. So that's normally quite nicely. Not tested on animals. Made with aloe vera. No white marks. Vegan approved. So again, that... I, I don't know how nice that's going to... Oh yeah, that does. It smells very... As much as I don't really like the smell of cucumber you can definitely smell it. it kind of starts off with a bit of cucumber then it's really kind of sweet and melony that's really nice um shake before use and spray on clean underarms my underarms are probably not clean right now but no that's that's quite nice it's a it's a really satisfying you know when you get certain types of material and it's kind of really satisfying to look at and kind of touch as well it's really nice kind of pastel colors but no, that's that's really good. So onto this this last bit, and you get and you always get these. Now these are actually becoming a really good idea for us. So generally, you can find recipes anywhere online. If you if you search for a vegan recipe, you'll find it, and that's fine. But these always give you ideas based on what they normally give you in the crate. So it says here. 
this one, because we've got that tofu, it says you got curried scrambled tofu. And that, which is kind of going to look like this, that sounds really nice. And again, you just take, it doesn't normally have any any uh, exotic ingredients that they haven't already given you. So like it's given us the tofu. Everything else on there is pretty, pretty standard, like soy sauce and curry powder, onions, carrots, kale leaves, all that kind of stuff you can get from a supermarket relatively easy. And it's a five step instruction. It only takes 15 minutes to make. So that would probably be really tasty. So I think we'll definitely be giving that a try. But they give you one every week and they are really nice. Uh, that's about another subscription. And I think this tells you what you get in it. Okay, yeah, it's even better than that. This here, the uh, booklet that comes with it, like you get in your Loot Crate subscriptions and everything else, it tells you what you get in it, but it actually tells you the retail price as well. So you can be sure that you're getting your money's worth. And there is nine items in this box, which is really good. I mean, nine items, even if each item was £2 each, you're only paying, what, £13? So you'd still already have made £6 worth, you know, £6 more value in this than if you'd bought the items. So, yeah, the uh, coconut clouds, the biscuits, are £2.69. The breadstick, biscoff and go, is £1.30. The hippies are about £1.19, which is about right, unless you get them with a meal deal, depending where you go, because you can do that. Uh, the tofu is £1.99. I would like to look up where they get that from. Um, the little chocolate that I got, this one, doesn't actually have a price on it. Um, Yeah, so it's kind of like a you got this free added in, but it's um doesn't have a price on it. But it has a lot of information on that one, more on that than anything else. I think it's because it's uh it's won loads of awards. So you've then got the uh, refreshers, which is a pound. But again, like I said, that's kind of then showed you. I didn't know I could get that, and it would be vegan, but it is. The shoes, uh, which was. No, that's the same thing I just said. Okay, so green bean and sugar snap peas. Uh, they're one pound twenty-five. So again, that's not too bad. Well, the uh, spray that I just had, the very last item, is six pound. If you were going to go and buy that, so that's really good to get that in here. An item that's worth nearly half the crate. And the final one is the peanut bar that I may or may not kill me. Um, and that's £1.75. So generally, um, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. But no, I'm really happy with that. Got myself enough food to tide me over. And these come every month. And this one was, yeah, bang on time. Again, considering everything going on. They ship normally at the start of the month. You normally get it before the 12th or 13th, easy. And yeah. So uh, I'm going to do a little total at the end, just so you can see how much it's worth, but not how much you would sell it for, because I don't think you're going to sell this stuff secondhand, because it doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, I'm not going to want to buy a packet of crisps from you secondhand. So um, yeah, if you like the video, guys, same as usual. Uh, give me a like, give me a dislike. That's completely up to you. Uh, follow me. I've still got more unboxing videos to do. Trying to get them out at a steady rate. Uh, I'm also going to start doing some um, gaming videos. Like, you know, playing on some games online. But my internet's a bit crazy at the moment. But yeah, like I said, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. And have a great day, guys.